So here's some help for the experiment to post lab. Question one says write the percent values of your calculations here. So you'd want to take those from your report sheet, write them underneath this problem. Then you want to explain why your experimental results varied from the actual values in the percent of each component in the mixture. And it says to, for reference, please write your data below and explain. So to explain why your experimental results varied from the actual values, there are two ways that could have happened. Either you added something that you didn't want, some sort of contaminant, or you lost something that you did want. And so you would want to go through the procedure, find a letter and for the part, and a number for the section of that part, the step of that part, where you either added a contaminant or lost something you wanted, and explain how that happened. So that's how you'd answer part or question one. Question two says, identify at least two steps where significant loss may have occurred in the amount of the components in the mixture. How might you design a separation that would not be subject to these losses? So for that first part, where you identify at least two steps where loss may have occurred, make sure you give the letter for the part and then a number for the step in that part where you would have uh, had a loss and say what happened. In part A, step three, you could have lost this by this. Now, how might you design a separation that would not be subject to these losses? Well, there were six separation techniques that this that they mentioned in the pre-lab or in the uh, preliminary section to the lab. They mentioned these six, one crystallization, two dissolution, three evaporation, four extraction, five filtration, and six sublimation. So see if you can uh, minimize the loss that you had by replacing one of the separation techniques with another. And just to go through them quickly, crystallization is when you separate things based on different freezing points. So you freeze one out of solution. Uh, dissolution is when you separate things based on their ability to dissolve, so you put them both into some sort of liquid and only one of them dissolves, so you separate them that way. Evaporation is where you separate things based on different boiling points, so you heat something up to a certain temperature that lets one of them evaporate, but the other one doesn't, so that lets you separate them all, the substances. Four is extraction. That lets you separate things based on different solubilities. So let's say you have a couple things that are dissolved in a liquid, but one tends to like oils more. You could mix the liquid you have with an oil, and then the thing that is more soluble in oils will go into the oil while the other thing that's more soluble in the original liquid will stay. So it's a way to let you separate those things. Five is filtration. Ultimately you're, basing, you're separating things based on their size. Things that can fit through the filter versus things that are too big to fit through the filter. And six is sublimation where you're separating things based on the temperature at which they sublimate, at which they go from a solid directly to a gas. So see if you can take one of these techniques, separate them for another one to minimize the loss that you had in a certain step in your experiment.